India is a nation with a multifaceted and diverse cultural heritage. India represents the inspiring and enormously important cultural ethos of unity in diversity. We can build solidarity through appreciation of our cultural diversity, acting on the principle that the understanding and appreciation of diversity is a powerful unifier. Listeners, today we bring you a Republic Day musical special emphasizing the theme of unity in diversity, titled Come India, Sing for Nation Building by Aubrey Alessius and children from the Lamb Trust Music Academy. Today is Republic Day. While India became a free nation on 15th August 1947, it declared itself as a sovereign, democratic and republic state with the adoption of the constitution on 26 January 1950. Today, 65 years later, on this Republic Day, let us vow to renew a pledge. As individuals and as a country, I would like to read the preamble of the Constitution of India and encourage you to join me in renewing the oath as we together endeavor to build our nation. We, the people of India, have solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity, and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and the integrity of the nation. Thank you for joining me in renewing our pledge in building our nation together. I will share a story from my childhood with you. When I was a little boy, barely seven years old, my mother, who was a school teacher, did something very special for me and for which I am very, very grateful. That day at home, she made me read out the national anthem which was originally written by Nobel laureate Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore in a highly Sanskritized Bengali in 1911. Jan Ganman Adinayak Jaya Hai Bharat Bhagya Vidatha Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravid Utkala Banga Bindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jaladita Ranga Tavashubha Name Jage Tavashubha Ashish Mange Gahe Tavajaya Gata Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He She then made me read the English translation of the same text as translated by Gurudev Ramdhanath Tagore Thou art the ruler of the minds of all people Dispenser of India's destiny Thy name rouses the hearts of Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat and Maratha, of the Dravida and Odisha and Bengal. It echoes in the hills of the Vindhyas and Himalayas, mingles in the music of Jamuna and Ganges, and is chanted by the waves of the Indian Sea. They pray for thy blessings and sing thy praise. The saving of all people waits in thy hand. Thou dispenser of India's destiny, victory, victory, victory to thee. There is another touching moment in my life that I would like to share with you. You see, I come from a very small family. My father, my mother, my little sister and myself. I thought we were a very small family. In school at assembly, we did two things every morning. We sang out together our national anthem and we set out together the national pledge, which says, all Indians are my brothers and sisters. From that moment of realization as a young boy, I knew I was a part of a big family. Today, my family is over 127 crore big. I do hope you share the same feeling that I have. Words have power, and I would urge you, my dear friends, let those words sink in, 
because that is reality. We are indeed brothers and sisters. Let us never forget this. That morning at home, after I read the English translation of our national anthem, my mother waited for my response. She let the words sink in. I remember my very first response was, Mummy, this is a prayer to God for our nation and for our brothers and sisters. She was very thrilled that I understood that. Let me share the impact that this has had on me since my childhood days. When I was asked over the years, Aubrey, where are you from? What are you? My response would be very unique. I made them guess. To a South Indian, I looked like a North Indian. To a Mumbai or a North Indian, I looked like a Goan. To a Goan, I looked like a Bengali. When they persisted in asking me these questions, I resisted giving this usual answer. I always said, I am an Indian. What do you say when you are asked the same question? I hope it is this first and nothing else. Our first identity is that we are brothers and sisters, a part of the human race. We belong to the nation of India.
ago, many great Indians have made an impact on us Indians and on people across the world. On the 12th of January, we celebrated the 152nd birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, a man who influenced our nation, a man who influenced many across the globe. He had a dream for India. He died at a rather tender age before he turned 40 in the early 1900s. All his dreams were not fulfilled in his lifetime. Some of his dreams are coming to reality today. I remember Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore, the author of our national anthem. He had a dream for a new awakened India. He had a prayer. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms to its perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom. Father, let my country awake. Some of Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore's dreams did not come to pass in his lifetime. Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation, in one of his speeches said this, I shall work for an India in which the poorest shall feel that it is their country in whose making they have an effective voice, an India in which there shall be no high class and low class of people, an India in which all communities shall live in perfect harmony. There can be no room in such an India for the curse of untouchability or the curse of the intoxicating drinks and drugs. Women will enjoy the same rights as men. We shall be at peace with all the rest of the world. This is the India of my dreams. In many ways, Mahatma Gandhi's India still remains a dream. I consider it to be our collective duty to fulfill these great men's dreams in our lifetime. I have a dream. I want to see a great nation re-emerge. I am sure each one of you has a dream. Are we going to let that dream pass by our lifetime? I have a hope, not just a dream. I look at our nation's children and youth and I say, I am sure that that dream and that hope will be fulfilled in our nation. We have gone through our history. We have fought for our freedom and enjoy the fruits of it today. Where are we going from here? We are celebrating India's 65th anniversary as a republic. To the young people, I will say this. 65 may sound very old. It may give you a mental picture of a man with grey hair. But India is young. Let me define that. As per the United Nations definition of young or youth, it is the age 29. Anyone who is below the age of 29 is considered youth. More than half of India is below the age of 29. It is expected that by the year 2020, the average age of an Indian will be 29 years. This is the generation that will make our India great.
India represents the inspiring and enormously important cultural ethos of unity in diversity. India is a nation with a multifaceted and diverse cultural heritage. We can build solidarity through the appreciation of our cultural diversity, acting on the principle that the understanding and appreciation of our diversity is a powerful unifier. Music and the arts are as important to society as reading, writing and arithmetic, not just as a disposable extra. Music transcends cultural boundaries and acts as the ultimate metaphor for social harmony. Exposure to music and art has a profound impact on individuals. Coming together and creating music and art at any time strengthens us to believe in the potential we have to influence the world around us. Coming together in singing our national anthem strengthens us to believe in the potential we have to influence and build our nation. When this musical imagination and experience is ignited in a group circumstance, we have the most extraordinary power to change lives for positive living. Is a clarion call to 127 crore Indians, the 1.27 billion Indians, to stand together for one cause, the unity of India, by singing one song, our national anthem, with honor, pride, passion, and precision, the right way in 52 seconds, reaching out to every citizen of India, children, youth and adults, to encourage them to sing out our national anthem in the correct way as per the code laid out in the Constitution of India. Article 51A mentions our fundamental duties as citizens of India. The very first clause says, it shall be the duty of every citizen of India to abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and institutions, the national flag and the national anthem. You are just listening to a Republic Day musical special emphasizing the theme of unity in diversity titled Come India, 